LeBron, there's a, a lot happening in that fourth quarter. Uh, 80's not coming in. D'Lo gets ejected. You got a lot of guys out. Technical fouls, delays of games. Uh, how, how do you kind of keep the team focused and driving and make that run and at least create the opportunities for those go-ahead shots? Um, just trying to keep the main thing the main thing still and uh, keep defending, keep rebounding, keep playing uh, the right way. Uh, we give ourselves a chance. I think some of those... Um, Some of the things that we couldn't control, control the game a little bit in the fourth quarter. Um, that's unfortunate, but um, kudos to Miami. They, they played some really good ball tonight. And uh, we was able to match their intensity. And uh, we played some good ball as well. But they was able to get the one-point win. LeBron Darvin told us that he was teed up um, based on the feedback he was giving to the referees, not feeling like there was consistency, um, an explanation for ways of being called and also he said LeBron's not flopping out there uh, and he's only getting four free throw attempts how do you feel like you've been uh, you were officiated tonight in this season um I, I mean I don't know I mean the, the explanations of what they're telling me are not consistent with what's actually happening on the floor um you know when I went for the dunk attempt against Thomas Bryant he clearly held, like arm straight across my face and I asked him the explanation. They said, well, one of the refs said he was straight up, hands straight in the air. Two of the other refs said they was blocked. They didn't see it. Um, one of my transition plays, um, I was going to transition, got fouled. Nobody saw it. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to, I'm going over respectfully and telling them what's going on in the play. And, um, and I consistently go to the line three or four times a game, sometimes not even at all, you know, which is weird. Uh, so, you know, just got to keep driving, keep putting pressure on the rim and, uh, you know, see, see if it turns. But we got some tough break calls tonight for sure um, and not in our favor tonight. Uh, LeBron, two, two questions for you, kind of going off of Dave's question. You mentioned that there were some things that you couldn't control in that fourth quarter that kind of controlled the game. Was it, can you kind of clarify what you mean by that? Was it the... Well, our coach got teed up. Um, that's, a, that's a point. D'Lo got teed twice. Those are two more points. Um, I got called for... Um, a delay of game was resulting in a tee where um, I fouled Jimmy Butler and I rolled the ball to the sideline where the ball is being taken out. The ref told me I threw the ball to the sideline when I actually just rolled it to the sideline and coach was right there and actually just held it with his foot and they called it another. That, so that resulted in another free throw and we lost by one. So certain, those are things we can't control. And uh, with the last shot, you know, Cam missed it. For a young guy that can be tough on confidence, what was your message to him out in the locker room? Just be ready again because I'm, 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 there will be many more opportunities, especially for me. I know I'm going to see two defenders late in games. Um, so just be ready. Yeah. <clears throat> LeBron, um, prior to Cam's three, you guys had three other really, really good looks. Really well. Um, what did you like about the shot creation you guys were getting down the stretch? And then... You, I think you said already you guys match their intensity. And yeah. When it comes to that, uh, a step forward, do you view for, for this group? Well, I think two of the shots that we got out of the four were off balance. One was mine in transition on the left wing. AR had a, a pump fake, but he kind of slipped before the pump fake and mm -hmm. dipped under and shot one. The other two were great looks. AR was able to, we ran a pick and roll with AR. He slipped out to the left wing and missed a really good one. And then obviously Cam shot was a really good look as well, but we do like those looks. Um, one thing about Miami, if you don't play hard, they will beat you down. They were like, and we saw that in that third quarter where they start to really like take it to us because we was not matching their intensity and they was getting out and running and moving and sharing the ball. So, um, you know, it's either one or the other. You either match their intensity or they're going to blow you out. And I think uh, we did a good job of matching their intensity from probably like the you know, after they made that run in the third, probably like the two and a half minute mark all the way through the, the regulation. Le LeBron, because I won't be seeing you again before Friday when the Lakers start playing the in-season tournament, what do you think of the NBA's in-season tournament? I have not been a part of it yet. Um, I did not get an opportunity to watch it um, when we, last Friday, because um, we had a team dinner in Orlando uh, before our game. So I did, seen some of the clips, some of the courts looked a little funky. Um, but I think it's great, you know, in the sense of for the league um, to spice the things up. I did see some of the quotes from some of the players that some of the games that felt like a playoff atmosphere type intensity. So um, that's great um, in that sense. Ron, I know this wasn't your, isn't going to be your last time in Miami, but can you just speak on um, just the heat and the culture, what that means to you? 
Um, well, I mean, for me, it's just always great to come back and play, you know, in a, in a building where I have so many memories, um, play along, um, you know, on the floor with so many memories, like I said, and then go against, you know, one of my favorite coaches um, of all time in sports. Um, you know, with that, with that said, it's always great. You know, um, you know, it's, you know, they've done it the right way here for years and years and years. Obviously, starting with Pat, uh, Mickey, and, and obviously now Spo was taking the reins and doing what he needs to do with that coaching staff and, the, you know, and everybody. You know, um, so everybody in between has come through here, uh, understands what it's all about, and um, um, and they continue to do it the right way. So it's pretty cool to be back. Uh, LeBron, one just away from the Lakers. I know some folks here in Miami who saw your family grow up. We're checking in with you today about Bronny and with USC starting off the season against yeah. K State. I was wondering if you had any right now, right? Yeah. Start at seven. Uh, wondered if you had any up, update on where things stand with with his. Things progress. are going in the right direction with Bronny's progress. Um, he's um, he's doing rehab um, every week. He gets to do more and more and more. Um, uh, we have a big. Um, uh, we have a big um, a moment at the end of this at the end of this month to see how if we can continue to go forward. Um, if he's cleared, then um, we'll be not too long away from him being back on the floor and back with his teammates and practicing and uh, with the notion of being back on the floor and playing in game situations. So um, everything is on the up and up, and uh, we're proud of his progress. We're proud of his strength, and uh, you know between um, all the doctors and, and that he's seen um, from. Everywhere he's been, and obviously I don't want to talk too much about that. But everyone who he's seen, and all his, um, you know, PT people and, and 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 USC included, and everybody that they've done a, a hell of a job of getting him to the point today, and we want to continue to grow forward. Thanks, Appreciate it.